All right, NNSA's Global Threat Reduction Initiative is in New York City today, and we're recovering a cesium uh, blood irradiator. And uh, this is just one of over 25,000 recoveries that we've done of uh, orphan sources. NNSA's Global Threat Reduction Initiative works with local law enforcement to enhance the security of radioactive sources at uh, civilian facilities such as hospitals and universities. Part of that cooperation with, between NNSA and local law enforcement is a specialized alarm response training course that's put on at the Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. The purpose of the course is to teach local first responders and on-site security uh, the importance of uh, enhanced security of these types of uh, radioactive devices. Um, in addition to uh, basic fundamentals in, in radiation safety and security, uh, we also bring the, the local law enforcement together with the first responders or site security at these, at these facilities and the radiation safety officers uh, to, to, to learn about the, uh, the equipment that our program is installing at these facilities to enhance the security and how they're going to uh, adjudicate alarms and respond to those alarms uh, when, when, when they do go off. So in today's operation, right now what we've done is we've uh, got the irradiator and we've moved it from the blood bank down to the loading dock. We're in the process right now of shaving off the edges so that it'll fit in the shipping container. Once we package the cesium radiator, it's going to be safely and securely uh, transported to a safe and secure location. The Global Threat Reduction Initiative uh, works around the world at civilian sites securing nuclear and radiological material. Uh, the reason we're here today is to uh, recover the cesium source, and if this cesium source were to be used as a, by terrorists as a, a WMD or a radiological dispersion device, uh, that dirty bomb could cause uh, billions of dollars in contamination and evacuation. The three-day alarm response training course consists of um, one day with an introduction, a classroom introduction to uh, fundamentals of, of, of radiation and the uh, really the reason why uh, enhanced security is, is needed for these devices. The second day includes uh, a tabletop exercise with the first responders, local law enforcement, and site security to get them um, uh, comfortable with the facility that they're going to be practicing in the third day. So the third day is, is really the fun day, the day that we actually simulate an alarm environment or a, uh, a simulated uh, a theft or sabotage of the materials in this hospital environment and allow the law enforcement and the site for, uh, the site responders um, to practice uh, a coordinated response to these alarms at a, at a facility.